while riding, please remain seated, keeping your head back against the headrest. Okay, we are getting ready to go out of town for a few days and I am laying the food out for the person who is watching our doggos. We've got them all labeled here and the different foods and this is the soft stuff that they like to have mixed in with it. All right, so Honey just brought some trays in from the freeze dryer. He has been using the freeze dryer, right Honey? And he's yes. doing a great job of it. These potatoes were canned potatoes. And you salted them, right, a little bit? I put some Shake Tasty on some, too. Yeah. This. Oh, cool. Yeah, so we got these at Walmart, um, and I got them on sale, and I've had them for a while, so it's time to just freeze-dry them for a longer-lasting uh, wear. We're going to package them, and all we have to do is add water to rehydrate them, and they'll be good as new. And I think, are they, do they snap? Here, yeah, here. You, oh, Taste oh, cool. Took this one, so I'm gonna eat that one too. Oh my goodness, you guys, these are so good. Oh, <coughs> don't breathe in the salt. <laughs> oh wow, these are really good. Now I've had the raspberries before, and they're super cold, super dry. So these are gonna go in um, in a little plastic as well, and I'll put an oxygen absorber in there and seal them up. So good job, honey. Thank you, babe. Thank you. All right, honey's job is done, and it's my job to uh, vacuum seal and add the oxygen absorbers to this. Tim just brought in some eggs. Let's <laughs> take a look. Do you know who laid these? Tender, Bolina, one baby red, and another baby red. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like, yeah. huh? <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's put those in the fridge. Okay. All right. Time to fill up the two chicken buckets with food. This is the crumble. We scratch. To the fixer, but I think we forgot to get some worms because <clears throat> I have to fill this one up because this is almost out. Because the worms help to keep them the feathers full and nice, keep them from losing them. So we mix this up. All right, here they are with plenty of eggshells in it because somebody was laying thin shells. We wanna make sure they get nice and hard in. My sister was just visiting in from out of town and she visited my dad and he gave her a bunch of hats uh, for us girls to um, have a couple of my mom's. These used to be my mom's and I like this cute little one she had. So I kept this one and I remember her wearing this one here. I think I even have a picture of her wearing this on a Mother's Day. And um, so that's just really special. These are two of my mom's hats. I'm gonna keep them. And uh, I definitely like this one here. Uh, just make me think of her anytime I, anytime I wear them. All right, so I'm in my room right now, just about to get ready to go because I have three little boys that need new pants. <laughs> so that's gonna be a fun shopping trip and probably a jacket. Okay, so I am going to go get the doggies and uh, put them on their leash. <laughs> and somebody is anxiously awaiting. Hi, Ferris. <laughs> oh, and Huckleby. <laughs> okay, and there goes Misty. All right, guys, let's go for a walk. The chickens have been enjoying the pumpkins that the boys picked out for Halloween, and they just seem to be eating them all. I mean, they just, they just love them. Okay, time to put some of these leftovers away. This is what I have left of the ham, and I've got the turkey in here. Um, one, two, for other meals. And our son, Calvin, came all the way from Salt Lake City to make his famous mashed potatoes that were amazing. So I didn't want to throw them out. I am freezing them. Hopefully they'll do okay in the freezer if I freeze them this way. Um, so if you don't have a food saver yet and you're tired of throwing out food and wasting it, get a food saver. It will really help you make things last in the freezer. Okay.
And I'm making a quick little lunch here for the boys and myself. I've got some leftover turkey, which I mixed with a little mayonnaise. And I've got some grapes here, some sweet, crunchy grapes, and about a quarter cup of pine nuts in here. I'm just gonna kinda like stir this around and fill up some pitas for the boys. And for me, I'm just gonna top um, my salad with some of this mixture. And I ended up using some of this um, sugar-free raspberry vinaigrette, and that was really good. So here's the boys' pitas, and we're all gonna have a little cup of ham and cabbage soup. Can you see him? Yeah. Is that them? Yeah. No way, no way. that was him. Oh, how sweet. He's a... No, that's not him. That's not Dad, it's someone that's else. Him. We are at Knott's Berry Farm, and we are waiting here, <laughs> me and the guys for our other guys and they are on the um what's that the ghost, ghost rider. rider right and so apparently we're waving at strangers thinking that it's my honey <laughs> but anyway so i will fill you in in a little bit on how we got here hey everybody <laughs> i'm here at the beach so we went to knott's Berry farm which we had planned this trip for a few months because we knew we were going to have some wonderful company for thanksgiving and we thought um, you know, we'll really enjoy that week. And then we know that it gets stressful during the holidays. And I knew that when December hit, we were just going to be up and running, you know, so we thought we planned a few days to just get away as a family and just, um, just enjoy. Uh, we went to the amusement park yesterday and today we're just visiting the beach for just a little while. I'm just looking at the water here. It's so beautiful. Um, it's pretty foggy right now. You really can't see very far. Um, this morning we went to uh, Portos. Portos is a, it's like a bakery and a cafe, but they have the most amazing breakfast there. We got these croissant breakfast sandwiches, which they make their own croissants and I've never had them so good. They're so, so nice and fresh <clears throat> and um and what else they had these potato balls and the little potato balls um you i thought they were just potatoes but when you uh, break into them they have like some sort of a i don't know a beef filling or something like that i wouldn't even know how to start tracking that but um then they had these little ham and potato croquettes and we were just not hungry to really dip into those but um, but it was really good very very um busy very um, many people there and a lot of lines you know but and i thought at first i thought oh i don't think i'm going to come back there's just it's just too much waiting and too many people but <laughs> it's so good now i know why so many people go and um, that it's definitely worth the wait. So Portos, which is right across from, um, let me show you the water while I'm talking. So Portos, which is right across from uh, Knott's Berry Farm. And, um, and my husband's getting to just look at this beautiful water and soak it in. It's next to our 14 year old and I got the other two boys out there looking for clams and and making a mess over there, <laughs> which the ocean invites them to do. So I'm very grateful for that. They, those are the two explorers in nature. They love to just touch everything, find the shells, explore the seaweed. Uh-oh, I told them not to get wet. I see the clothes starting to come off. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm gonna go down there and ask him, what is, what is he doing? They can't get wet right now because it's too cold. We forgot to bring towels and um, he's not dressed for it. We have to get on the road and we don't want him to smell like the sea in the car all the way home. <laughs> Here he comes. They are such a trip. This is a wonderful time. We had a really great time. So Porto's wraps everything in these cute little Christmas boxes. It's so good. Look at this croissant. Isn't that beautiful? It's buttery and flaky. Hello. <laughs> you found a bee? Uh-huh. Is it alive? Uh-huh. Oh, I saw his alive. little path. It was like this.
All right, guys. Um, it is Monday. I think it's the 4th of December and uh, or 5th. I don't remember. Anyway, it's Monday and um, now Christmas is here in full swing and I have decided that I know that I missed a few days because we were busy out of town, but for the remainder of this month, I'm going to actually try to do Vlogmas every day in December for this channel. So um, I think that I need to spend more time here and um, I will still be on my other channel, Cat on Point, but I I chose not to do Vlogmas there, but to do it here to uh, maybe get out a little bit more on this channel. Um, and also this one will is more kind of like a potpourri family based, you know, life everything. Whereas that one, the other channel is more of a health and wellness channel. Um, so anyway, today we may end up adopting a little dog named sugar bear he is an elderly dog i don't think his eyesight is the best but he is just the sweetest little thing and we have talked about it and thought you know he's really small i would not have considered i think a larger dog at this time because of the other ones that we have um but a small one uh, maybe to invite him in to live out the rest of his years. Um, I think that it, that would be nice, you know, in a family that loves him and can um, provide for him uh, in that in that kind of environment. You know what I mean? Safety. And Love. today I'm going to talk to his owner and she's going to see if he gets along with our other dogs and then we'll see. Um, he's just the sweetest thing, but I think he has a little issue with marking, she said. Um, and then, you know, they're allowed in certain rooms with us as long as we're chaperoning them, but they're not allowed to roam freely during the whole of the house. And definitely none are allowed in the bedrooms. Um, because we have an asthmatic here and I if I don't see them I think that's when they're more apt to try to mark so we keep them in a very specific place so that the house stays clean and free of that um, so I think what we're gonna do I've got some belly bands just in case he stays until he learns the routine here and belly bands are more like dog diapers that kind of like you know to, to if he wants to lift his leg it won't you know go anywhere <laughs> So, but, um, and our dogs love the outside and right now it's good weather. So, um, that can maybe help him acclimate to the other dogs, spending time with them out in the yard. So we'll see anyway. I don't know if he's, if this is the right place for him or not, but if it is, you'll meet him. Uh, Sugar Bear, he's just so adorable. Um, so anyway, I'm going to let you go for now and I will see you later, guys. I guess we're going to be spending time with um, each other a little bit more this month. And if you have not um, subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we can see each other this month, please do that and um, we will be seeing you soon. All right, guys, have a wonderful Monday.